Good evening, everyone. Tonight I thought I would show you a little example of what you could use as an image for balancing your weight in the keys on a piano. I'm just holding the iPad, so I may not be able to keep this going here, but we'll try. So when you think of balancing your arm weight in the keys, you, you have to be able to feel that the this is like your key and you put your weight into the key by dropping with a relaxed shoulder elbow wrist and balancing it so that you, you it's weight on the bottom of the key but it's balanced it's not you don't think of hitting you think of the key being sunk the way i'm sinking this little disc this little weight in it and the hammer on the other end that's that end it goes up when your weight comes down in and that's what you're doing as you lop the weight down into the key and you feel the, the sine curve of the wave of the wire going to the back of the piano. So it's the way you get tonal color and the way you can sink in and have a, a warm, comforting uh, tone when you're on the bottom of the key. So if you're down here, you see, this, this is... You drop, you can just drop, but you're balancing. So you feel the weight of the key as you lower your weight to the key bed. You feel the weight of uh, the same way you feel the weight on this thing when, it, when you put a weight on here and you go down, the other end goes up, the hammer goes up. So you're putting the weight and then you're balancing it in there the way that little, little chap is sitting there reading his book. It's balanced in the key. And that's what you're doing here. So if you want a tone that sounds solid and yet not forced, but rather a caring sound, you can draw the finger a little toward you just to feel that you've got a hold of the weight on the key bed. But it's, it's the depressing. The key is pushing back up at you and you're coming down in and you're sinking in and then you become on the bottom of the key balanced there with the elbow free to swing left and right so your elbow is free to swing like that so i hope that gives you a good image towards what i mean when i say balance the weight of your arm on the key you can play with dead weight then and get a lovely tone and uh, then you have to listen to that tone dying away and match how quiet it is so that you link that note to the next note and so on and use intonation and think of that sine curve going to the back of the piano it's all the way away right to the back of the piano it's like a skipping rope and then you'll get the overtones and the harmonics from that wire which is the other frequencies like an octave higher or perfect fifth higher or major third higher when you use the damper pedal they're free to vibrate then and you hear that color, that tonal color above the piano wires. And it's, it's just beautiful when you can get it. But the finger has to be firm. So the opening of the hand is the, is the contraction of the muscles on the top of your forearm. And the closing is underneath. And they work as antagonistic pair, making the finger firm. But the wrist is limpid and loose. And the elbow is free and the wrist, the shoulder is relaxed. So you can use the whole body weight on that little dish there as you sink in and then balance. But feel the weight of the hammer uh, feel being raised as you sink into the key. As you sink in, you feel, you feel that weight. See, if I go gently, I feel that weight balanced there. And then I can lead to the next note and so on. So I hope that gives you an image of how you can produce a good tone when you're playing the piano. Have a good night and happy Easter to you. Bye-bye.